Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JD from JD Tech here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss PC passion tech reviews, unboxings, and setup design. So, if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. So, keyboard reviews have become plentiful in the recent months with the surge of cheaper mechanical keyboards entering the market. So, from now on, I only review keyboards I think bring something new or unique to the table. And you can probably tell visually the keyboard is different. This one is one of the slimmest, if not the slimmest, mechanical keyboards I've seen so far. This is the Joy Use keyboard from Drevo. You may have heard of Drevo before, they fabricate SSDs and some other components. This keyboard in particular retails for $70. It's fully wireless, connecting via Bluetooth, and it connects to Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. At its thickest point, the keyboard is approximately 19 millimeters, which is very slim in regular keyboard terms, but the fact that it's mechanical is even more impressive. The switches on this unit are red, although they do come in black and blue as well, making this keyboard slim and quiet and overall a minimalistic dream. Except if you get the blue switches because those are just they're just so loud the board has fluid leds spanning throughout the entire keyboard and on the side profile as well there are plenty of lighting options with reactive key animation typing as well making this keyboard an entertaining eyepiece for sure the base is made of aluminum and complements the minimalistic design very well and looks great for all professional work environments the layout is compact but still a full keyboard surprisingly with the inclusion of the numpad although the home page up page down insert keys and so on are secondary functions to other keys so the board has the functionality of full keyboard layout but not the full physical layout to access those secondary key functions on the numpad make sure to turn on the num lock then they will be accessed no problem the compact nature of the keys may take some time to get used to if you're not used to it but otherwise the layout is intuitive and maximizes functionality for its size the build quality of the board is superb fantastic construction for the base as well as the switches caps and lighting the switches feel unique since the travel distance is ridiculously short at three millimeters yeah Three millimeters of travel distance, that's that's insane. The actuation force is very light for the red switches, of course, because they're red switches. They are red switches, they feel like them too, but it's a different typing experience with them than normal red switches because of the short travel distance. Personally, it feels good to type on this keyboard. The keycap quality is great too. They are double molded caps with ABS plastic and they are soft to the touch on the surface, adding to the smoothness of the keyboard and overall typing experience. As far as the connectivity experience goes, it is worth noting that this is not a gaming keyboard. It is not designed for it. Bluetooth has a noticeable input lag with almost any device and this is no exception. You can get away with some mild casual gaming, but do not expect any low latency performance from it. This keyboard is designed for all the computer tasks except for gaming. Typing, editing, and other tasks aren't a problem. The input lag is minimal, but even with an input lag, it's not something that gets in the way with typing, although there are times when the keyboard spazzes and does its own thing, but it corrects itself and only happens occasionally. But that can still become an annoyance. Connectivity with this board is pretty easy. Just go to your Bluetooth settings on your Windows device and scan for new devices and press the FN key with the B key on the keyboard, which has the connectivity symbol. Then the lights will flash on the board. Then you'll be able to pair it with a computer or any other device you're trying to connect it with. But make sure your PC has Bluetooth capabilities. Mine did not. So I had to buy a USB dongle from Amazon for $6. Battery life is pretty decent as well. Of course, the battery life mileage varies based on how much the board is being used. On a full charge with moderate use, it can last for about a month or so. Heavy usage can be a lot less, but you can shut off the lights to conserve the battery life. Speaking of which, the keyboard lights shut off after about 30 seconds of no use. If nothing is pressed, the lights turn off. As soon as you press it, it'll turn them back on. This is a great feature to help with the battery life and conserve it. The keyboard functionality still work when the lights are off. It's only LEDs that aren't active. Charging time takes about eight hours and it charges with a USB type C port. The cord isn't that long, so make sure you have a USB connection somewhere close to the keyboard. Overall, it is very well built from the switches to the build quality and the structural integrity. The LEDs are smooth and vibrant and offer a lot of options without being too over the top and suits a professional work environment very well. The keycaps are very well made and feel great to type on along with the switches. Connectivity is easy and seamless, but the Bluetooth capability can be a bit annoying if you don't have it and need to spend an extra couple bucks and time on getting a Bluetooth dongle. Input lag is noticeable, but not too noticeable for regular use. Gaming wise, it isn't suited very well. The keyboard does freak out sometimes and freezes and gets stuck on a specific key 
which is really annoying, but it doesn't last long, but worth mentioning because it does happen. Lastly, the battery life works well as expected. The board looks stunning and insanely minimalistic. This is a minimalist wet dream. I've enjoyed the keyboard a lot and it's nice having the wireless freedom. For $70, it offers a compelling argument to buy it. Although there are a few hiccups which can definitely deter a buyer from buying the board from what I've mentioned with my experience. Personally, would I spend the $70 for it? Yes. The build quality and minimalistic qualities and beauty would make me buy it, but that's from my perspective. Your choice to buy it is up to you with the information I presented. This board can be a mixed bag for some, but for me, its unique qualities smooth them out and make it highly desirable. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm going to try to get multiple videos up this week for Christmas, so hopefully I'll be seeing you soon. If you're new here and if you want to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.